Multiple sclerosis is an inflammatory demyelinating disease of the central nervous system which affects the optic nerves or the brain or the spinal cord leading to different types of symptoms and the disease primarily happens because of our own immune system reacting against these targets in the central nervous system and the symptoms that happen because of multiple sclerosis depends on which part of the nervous system is involved for example if it involves the optic nerve you get symptoms of blurring of vision or as if you are seeing through a cloud of smoke and if it involves the lower part of the brain you get symptoms like double vision or imbalance while walking and if it involves the spinal cord you get weakness of legs stiffness or imbalance while walking or difficulty in passing urine these are the common symptoms of multiple sclerosis there are many patients which are not yet diagnosed if untreated roughly half of the patients develop disabilities and go on to the wheelchair in about 15 years now the risk of disability depends on the location of the lesions the age of the patient whether it's a male or a female and the lesion burden so in the uh, uh, natural history of disease if those patients who have high risk of disabilities are treated early they can be prevented from getting into disabilities now the disease typically begins with a course of remission and relapses that means symptoms seem to come and disappear and as time evolves this process is lost and patients get into a process of degeneration so the initial part of the disease is known as remitting relapsing ms where there's a lot of inflammation happening in the nervous system where cells migrate into the brain and cause uh, the initial damage but as time evolves this inflammatory process is lost and there's more of loss of neurons brain shrinkage leading to a process of degeneration so once degeneration kicks in we have very few options of treating that's why it becomes important to uh, arrest the disease in the inflammatory phase rarely there is a uh, there is a different course of ms in some people uh, right from the beginning the disease tends to be progressive and that is known as a primary progressive ms wherein the disease mechanism is similar to a secondary progressive MS. There are various types of uh, therapies available for MS. So there are acute therapies or you treat when there is an ongoing disease activity or relapse and there are long-term disease modifying therapies. So disease modifying drugs are non-steroidal medicines. These help to change the underlying mechanism of disease. In previous eras, maybe we had very few options like interferons or glatiramer. But now we have an array of medications which can help in MS. These are classified as medications as uh, with low uh, efficacy, it's called low power treatment or the first line drugs or platform therapies. Then you've got medicines which are slightly more effective than this. It can be called as the second line therapies. And then um, you've got still more effective medicines called the monoclonal antibodies, which includes medicines like rituximab, ocrelizumab and uh, alemtizumab. Now it's very important to choose the right medicine for a given patient with, with, uh, for a patient who has a risk of disability. For example, patient has motor uh, symptoms right from onset or has lesions in the lower part of the brain, the brain stem or in the spinal cord or there are large lesions in the brain or patient's response to treatment initially has not been great or there have been frequent relapses. These are the in, in, uh, situations where people tend to get into disabilities. So in such instances, it is important to choose a more powerful medicine or a third line drug like ocrelizumab. Whereas for those patients who have a good prognosis, for example, uh, females or uh, with primarily sensory symptoms, without any motor deficits, very few lesions in the brain, those whom we uh, consider to have a good prognosis, there even a platform therapy might work. MS is one field which is, uh, you know, uh, being investigated extensively all over the world because of the uh, uh, risk of disabilities and the burden it carries and typically it affects young people in the productive age group. So a lot of research is going on. So it's very important to recognize the disease at the earliest and start medications pretty early because uh, you know once the disease starts the immune system is something which keeps going continuously. So there is an ongoing damage, although there may not be relapses, there is an ongoing damage happening in the nervous system. I would say that if, uh, if the diagnosis is made, you start with the therapy at the earliest because delay in therapy will lead to risk of disabilities. Unfortunately, the uh, treatment of MS is pretty expensive in India and very often insurance companies uh, don't cover multiple sclerosis or they uh, just uh, you know, refuse to uh, pay for the treatment saying that it's a daycare treatment or a particular drug is not approved. 
So we heavily depend on some of those schemes which the government should be offering. But unfortunately, we don't have too much of support from the government agencies. On occasion of World MS Day 2024, I wish all persons with MS good health and uh, stay free of disabilities. And those who don't have MS, keep a watch on those symptoms. And if at all you develop any symptoms of MS, go to your nearest neurologist and get yourself evaluated. And if you have been diagnosed with MS, please, please start the treatment at the earliest.